Now to the UK, where the extremists from the Just Stop Oil group continue to break the law, cause all sorts of disruption and havoc, but they are heroes. Just ask them. How worse does it have to get? How many kids have to die? How many more young people have to do this stuff? I don't know what else to say, Anna. Why aren't you on the streets with us? That's all I can say. How do you explain your inaction? How do you explain it? Everyone here, all the presenters that we talked to, how do you explain your inaction? How much longer are you going to keep this journalistic objectivity up until the water's lapping at your ankles, until your own kids haven't got food? Wowie, now these people are either mentally unstable or pathological liars. There are no other options. Uh, what they should not be granted is airtime to spew that insanity unchallenged, but even worse than giving them airtime is destroying your economy, trying to appease them with daft net zero policies. And people all across the Western world have grown tired of the climate cult's antics. Let's see how Portugal motorists deal with lefties losing it. Now let's go to a woman who knows how to handle lefties losing it. Here is Candace Owens. Hello. What do you have to say to the trans students on this campus who actively feel victimized by your presence here today? Life's tough, get a helmet, man. I'm too pregnant for this. Next question. Brilliant, and there's more where that came from. As a non-binary person, what do you have to tell me about my identity? Because I know for a fact I'm not confused. Okay, next question. Great statement. That's a statement. That's a statement. Okay, you know your identity. You're not confused. Congratulations, sweetheart. Thank you very much for your statement. That's how you deal with these chronic attention seekers.